Hey there friends, Nibs again. Out here in the garage tonight doing a little bit of goofing around. <clears throat> and I have a very cool old Daisy uh, BB gun to show you guys. Um, this one, I did a mail call on it the other day and uh, did a little bit more research on it and it is pretty cool. It's an early uh, Buzz Barton and uh, I think it has uh, the chops to be up here on the wall of fame up here. And we're gonna go ahead and do a review on it. It is a uh, shaker, <laughs> but uh, this one uh, is pretty cool. It's not uh, in mint condition by any stretch, but uh, the, uh, the buttstock has the Buzz Barton logo on there. Somebody drilled a hole in the stock, unfortunately, <laughs> but uh, it is pretty cool. Uh, it does look like this scope tube <laughs> is not the original uh, scope tube, does not have a roll stamp on it at all, And uh, but I still think this is a pretty darn cool uh, survivor, and uh, it shoots pretty good. Um, so a little bit of research I was able to find on this thing. Uh, so it does have this, um, like a globe front sight, which is pretty neat, but... Uh, so most of the Buzz Bartons have like the daisy bottle cap, like a normal daisy uh, bottle cap. And then the loading port would be back here behind the uh, front sight. And that those are kind of the, the later ones and they weren't made very long anyway. But so they originally started making these in 1932. And the 1932 ones did not have a... A roll stamp on them they actually just had a paper sticker on the back here and then in 33 they started making them with this uh, pattern on it and only very early 33s would have this side loading gate and from what I've read uh, this is a feature of uh, a brand called Markham King which Daisy did uh, acquire and owned but uh, the Markham King Model 55 is what this is uh, patterned after. And uh, kind of Daisy and Markham went back and forth uh, <clears throat> stealing designs from each other, if you want to call it that. But uh, this is the first Daisy that had a uh, telescopic <laughs> type uh, telescopic tube on it. Um, this one does not have, so the original one would have had a disc inside of it with a little aperture on it. This one's just a, a wide open tube. I'll search around and see if I can find an original uh, tube for it eventually. But for now it's pretty cool. And uh, we're going to go ahead and just uh, put it through its paces. Uh, first we're going to throw it across the chronograph, just a couple of shots to see what it's doing. Um, I've shot it into a can and... I'm guessing it's probably in the uh, low 200s, um, but uh, it's shooting pretty good for, especially for a gun that's probably uh, 90 years old. Um, I don't know if it's been serviced or, or what, but uh, let's go ahead and see what we got. All right, so I got a 203 on that one, not bad. Let's do like three shots with it. Oop, got an error on that one. Two oh four, <laughs> pretty consistent. Another error. Come on, I'm getting them across the sensors real good. I think. And another 204, so average of 204, right? <laughs> Spread of uh, one, average of 203.7. So I called that pretty good. Um, you could tell kind of how it was hitting the can when I was cutting it. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to pause the camera real quick. And I got to get my camera that I'm using, or my phone that I'm using for my 
capture in the chronograph data set up downrange and we'll do a little bit of target shooting and we'll see if we can hit a can with it too and we'll see how it does so stand by Alrighty, so I am back and uh, I have a uh, splatter burst down there and I also have a can that's uh, I think it's only got like one or two holes in it so far um, just uh, <laughs> I need to pull out some fresh cans I guess but uh, let's go ahead and take a few shots at the splatter burst first I'm not exactly sure where the point of impact is going to hit with this but uh, let's see what we can do All right, that's, I'm shooting at that red diamond and it's just a little bit high and right, so that's not bad. Still high and right. All right, there we go, that's better. Looks like it's gonna be minute a tin can anyway. I think I'm getting the hang of it. We'll do a couple more at the splatter burst and then we'll plink at the can a little bit. Oh yeah. One more and then we'll hit the can. Oh, that one went a little high. But uh pretty cool so they claim that will hold up to a thousand BBs I haven't tested that yet but uh, let's see if we can hit that can I don't know if I just didn't get a BB out of that one or That happens. There we go. Happens sometimes with these old, even the newer gravity feed ones, they don't always get a, a BB loaded down into the barrel. Now I'm starting to get the hang of it. Oh, another one. I have not pulled the shot tube out at all, see what it looks like or anything, so. There we go. All right, well, do one or two more here and. Not doing, not doing bad on that can. Oh. Might need to look at the, the feed ramp in here to see if it's gummed up or whatever. Yep. All right, well. Anyway, so there you go. That is the Buzz Barton uh, Model 195. So if I had to guess, because I don't have the roll stamp on the reproduction tube here, uh, but pretty sure this is a model 195 or number 195, model 33. So they made a th 32, which would have just had the paper patch uh, on here. Then the 33, they had the roll stamp on here. Uh, and then later 33s would have had a bottle cap. And then they actually came out with the Model 36. And honestly, I don't know what the difference is between a 36, 33 and a 36. Um, but the 36 is definitely would have had the, the bottle cap and the loading port on top as well. So um, has a uh, cast iron handle. Uh, 
they didn't have pretty much all the daisies had a cast iron handle pre-world war ii and then after world war ii they would have went to a uh no, I can't, can't get a BB to feed now. There it goes. Yeah, it definitely probably just had a little bit of, a little bit of gum on the, uh, the loading port in there, and I'll pull that out of here once we're done. But there you go. That is my new pickup. Definitely gonna be up here on the. Have to make a little more room up here pretty soon. Uh, been thinking about that for a while now, but. Uh, that's pretty cool, the uh, Buzz Barton special. Go along with my, uh, got my Model 100, or 101, Model 36, single shot. I've got the uh, Daisy, original Daisy Red Rider there. Bunch of other cool stuff, of course, but uh, those are kind of the key daisies I've got up there right now. Alrighty, friends, I wanted to throw in a little addition here. Uh, I already did the kind of review, and we we're having a little bit of trouble with the feeding uh, on this guy so I did pull it out and it is a very interesting design it does not have the uh, threaded end here like the newer style I say newer newer than this one <laughs> um, but this one definitely is the older style so it actually has a little nub right there that aligns Definitely has an air tube in there, so that's good. So it aligns uh, right below the site there. And then you have your quarter turn, uh, so that, and that locks it in place. So now let's go ahead and throw a few BBs back in here. It was very dirty, <laughs> so uh, I actually uh, cleaned it out real good with some, uh, some of this Professor Pew uh, gun cleaner. And uh, I ran, three uh, three or four uh, felt uh, slugs down through there that I got from uh, Patchworm. All right, there's half a dozen BBs. That should be good to... So there was a bunch of black gum in there for probably old oil. I'm probably going to tear this thing down and make sure and clean up the uh, compression cup and everything. Hmm. Still not getting the feed here. There it goes. Oh, my downrange illumination battery is uh, needing to be recharged, but uh, there you go. So I'll be doing a little more service on this guy, but uh, seems to be working pretty good. Uh, it was pretty dirty there, so I'm sure the uh, the uh, compression cylinders probably need to be cleaned up real good. These did have a leather seal up in there. It seems to be working okay as far as that goes, but I really want to clean it up and, and make sure it's preserved. So. But uh, anyway, now, <laughs> I hope you guys like the video. Until next time, stay tuned for uh, some head-to-head -head challenges with this guy and probably my old Red Rider. And uh, we'll have a lot of fun with it out here in the garage. Hope you guys like the video. Until next time, have a great day.